Hello, I'm a Satharian, and this will be a video guide on how to use RaidBots.com to get the most out of your WoW character. RaidBots is a website that allows you to run simulation craft in the cloud. Simulation craft is a tool that allows you to basically simulate a combat a situation in WoW and allows you to draw uh, conclusions from the data that it gives you. It also has a powerful interface that allows you to set up very large simulations easily and complete them in a short amount of time compared to doing it on your own machine. This video will have some tips and tricks for getting the most out of RaidBots as well. So getting started with um, the StatWaits option. If you've used Simulation Craft in the past, this will be very familiar. Essentially, StatWaits allow you to sort of predict what your best gear will look like, and it allows you to um, put it into an add-on, a uh, very popular add-on in WoW called Pawn, which allows you to see before equipping something or before getting it how big of an upgrade something could potentially be. Uh, the only thing you need to um, get the stat weights is the simulation craft add-on, which is the only in-game add-on you'll actually need for all of this. Once you have the simulation craft add-on installed from Curse, I'll put a link in the description. You just go in-game and you do slash sim c. This will give you your profile. You simply need to copy paste this, and then you can pop it into the um, this box here in the stat weights. Um, after that, you will have to set some options. Uh, iterations will determine how accurate your sim will be, essentially, and this goes for all. Um, for stat weights, I recommend setting it to 25,000. For anything else, um, 10,000 is okay, and if it's a really big sim and it'll take eight years otherwise, 5,000 is enough for more rough stuff. So I'll just set it to 5,000 because I'm just showing you how it works. Uh, patchwork should always be the fight style. There's really no um, reason you'd use any others. If you use heavy movement, light movement, hectic at cleave, any of those other fight styles, it can really fuck with your um, haste that way some stuff in a way that's not really realistic because the way SimCraft is set up, it's not really dealing with movement the way you would as a human. Uh, number of bosses, you should only change this from 1 if you're trying to sim an AoE fight. Uh, if you're doing Mythic Plus, you can set it to 2, 3, or 4, depending on if it's a fortified dungeon, if it's ad heavy or boss heavy, and so on. Fight length should uh, generally be 5 minutes, but if you're progressing on Mythic Fallen Avatar, for example, and you know the fight is going to be 7 8 minutes long, you can set it to that as well. And for Mythic Plus, if, since most pools and bosses are pretty short, you can set it to 2 to 3 minutes, or perhaps even shorter. A uh, SimC version should always be set to nightly. Uh, the only reason you'd ever change uh, from nightly is if there's a bug with the latest nightly version, but that's pretty rare. PTR simulation you generally shouldn't use. It's very experimental at any given point in time, even with, even with the nightly build. Uh, and like most sims that you do for the PTR will not be accurate. Anyway. After generating your stat weights, it will only take a few seconds, depending on how many uh, iterations you've chosen. It will generate you a pawn string. Um, for this, you need uh, to use this. You need the add-on pawn in game, P A W N, and uh, you can copy this string and go in game. And if you have the pawn add-on installed, you can do slash pawn. And then you can go to scale. And then you could import a scale. And then you just copy paste it in. Now, what the pawn string actually contains is like the values of the stats. So the way stat weights works is it adds about 1,300 of each stat, and it figures out what your um, DPS gain is from that. Like how much DPS do I gain if I get 1,300 agility? And then it divides it by the amount, then, then it divides the gain by however much it added, and it tries to sort of average out, okay, how much is one point of agility worth in terms of DPS? So approximately one agility for me is worth 20 DPS. One agility for me is worth 30, um, one uh, point of crit rating is worth 37 DPS. So that covers stat weights. Uh, the next one is probably the most powerful option in RaidBots. It's called Top Gear, and it essentially allows you to compare all the gear you have in your bags, including your legendaries and your set bonuses and so on. Um, for this, you also just need the slash simc command. You copy paste the same thing and you go in here. Now this will display all your gear. And what it allows you to do is all the pieces you pick, it will create every permutation of those items. So if you want to compare, you know, um, different combinations of set bonuses, different legendaries or different combinations of both, trinkets, rings, any of that, you can do it with this. 
how it works is once you get all this, you just pick all the items you want to compare to, um, keeping in mind that the more you add, the exponentially longer the symbol get. But you could, there are really good tricks to make it shorter and allows you to add more items. So if I wanted to compare some set bonuses, um, something like that, um, it'll, that'll uh, be 36 different gear sets I can create from that. Now, here you can sort of cut down how many sims you're going to get. Um, if you know that you know your best set will always have the tier 24 piece bonus, you can just choose that and I've already cut it down to 12 because of these items that I've chosen, only 12 actually have 4 piece. Um, and if you know that your best will always have tier 19 2 piece, then you can also choose that. I haven't chosen enough pieces, like these can't be both be true at the same time unless I add more, um, more tier 19 items. Uh, here you can choose um, what enchants and gems you want to put in the gear, especially if you're comparing gear that you don't have. Like, so you don't have to uh, gem and enchant gear that you're just simming. You can just put it in here and it'll work it out itself. Um, what you can also do is if you know that one of your items or one of your legendaries or trinkets is going to always be best, like you just know this before even having simmed it, you can lock it in. So it uh, will always sim including that item, which can really cut down on really big sims. In a way, once you're done, you just hit um, uh, find top gear down here. All these options can remain the same as you've done it before. And it will generate basically a list of all the um, gear permutations. And at the top, it will give you your top gear. In my case, it's this, at least for the items that I put in. And it'll also seem like if I were to combine different items to achieve the same set bonus combinations and so on. It's a very powerful tool and everyone should really be using it for figuring out the best items in their bags. Gear Compare is uh, pretty self-explanatory. Like you pop in your profile as you normally would. And then you can just add, like this is for simming items that you don't already have, generally speaking. So I want to add, um, what if I could finally get my uh, uh, mythic tarnished sentinel medallion? Um, I gotta figure out what slot would it replace. In my case, it would probably replace my existing heroic one. So that's trinket slot two from the top. I'll choose that. Select the eye level for mythic. Maybe add a socket. You can choose what um, the gem the socket will have in it by default. And then it's as uh, simple as a uh, person compare items and it'll figure out, you know, how much of a DPS increase this item is. It would be a pretty substantial one in my case. And this is very useful, especially if you are trying to, you know, show you if there are multiple people in your raid competing for the same item, you can sim how much of an upgrade the item would be for you. And if your raid leader uh, wants to, you can ask everyone else who needs the item to sim it for them as well. And then you can actually get a very objective gauge of who the item is best for. Relic compare is very much the same thing. You pop in your stuff. And uh, you can swap in uh, the different relics. So if I wanted to get, you know, a mythic kill Jaden relic, I already have a maiden one. That's relic slot two from the middle. So I'll just search for the name of the uh, kill Jaden relic. I'll pop in an item level. It drops at 940. Uh, and it's that simple again. You just uh, compare the relics and then it'll spit out how much uh, of a DPS upgrade this relic would be for you. Another pretty substantial one. Um, no change, of course, means that you know you're only swapping the main relic in this instance. Talent compare. Uh, for this, you also just pop in your profile, and it allows you to pick all the talents you want to potentially compare. So you know, uh, if I want to figure out if um, explosive shot or patient sniper would be better for me, um, it will be compared to my current talent. So I should pick like stuff that's different. Um, so if I wanted to go explosive shot, volley and piercing shot for whatever reason. And you can add uh, more, more talent sets in than that if you want to. And just basically compare talent builds for either single target or multi-target, mythic plus or whatever. And it's as simple as before. Uh, you press compare and then it spits out, you know, how much of a DPS loss in this case this build would be for me. Probably not going to go with this build. Uh, you got to select all the other talents as well. Uh, so like... This is only chosen four out of the seven available talents. Um, but you get the point, you just choose, you just add different uh, sets of talents. Quick sim is uh, basically the raw and dirty way of finding out how much you sim for approximately. You copy a profile. 
and then you pop this in and um, yeah there's really no options to set here other than these basic ones and it'll really just tell you how much dps um, your gear is potentially capable of on, on a given fight length um, in case you want to sim for a specific fight such as Goroth where you up, uh, where you generally will know how long it's gonna last you can sort of break this limit here you can you don't have to pick one two three four five etc minutes you can uh, select your very own so if i was expecting a three minute 30 second um go off kill i'll put in at the bottom of the sim here actually well no i'll copy all this and i'll take it all the way over to advanced and advanced is basically um sim craft without any limits so if you've ever used simulation craft in a in the command line or you've ever used sort of advanced uh, parameters or conditionals for simcraft advanced will allow you to do that in raid bots basically there's no there are no options but you can do everything that simcraft can also do just by typing it in if you know the syntax and everything so if you wanted to do a quick sim um you would or go off only you would go to advanced and you would go and to the uh, paste the stuff in and type max underscore time equals then what you want the uh, fight length to be in seconds so in my case i want uh, uh, three minutes 30 seconds that's 210 seconds and then you can also change the variation in combat length um if i know you know within a five sec uh, five percent margin what the fight length is going to be i'll just put very underscore combat underscore length equals and then i'll put 0 0.05 for a five second variance and that way it's going to spit out, you know, roughly speaking, what my uh, DPS for growth could potentially be if I played, you know, almost close to perfectly and uh, had average RNG. It's possible to do more. Generally, you will do less because there's movement and all that stuff that can mess with your damage. But generally speaking, this is a number you should be targeting for certain fights. And if you get, you know, 1.4, you can still do more. Like, you shouldn't be necessarily satisfied with getting 90 percent of it because it is possible to get more so and you can even beat it like it's not it's not the limit and it's not the uh not all you should be going for you can always do better so that covers all aspects of using raid bots to get the most out of your play thanks for watching and i'll see you guys another time